I, I think the fact that it was so sudden and that he did it while he was overseas in Saudi Arabia without any pretext obviously raised suspicions that this was done something either under duress or because of his safety fears he had to leave the country before he could announce it. So there could be that, that dimension to it as well. Um, the fact is he's resigned, but the cabinet in Lebanon and the president have not yet actually accepted his designation, and Hezbollah has come out saying that he remains their prime minister. Um, so this is still very much an ongoing story in my view. Um, clearly he was concerned about Hezbollah's growing role. A few days before he went to Saudi Arabia, in fact, He'd had a, a long meeting with Ayatollah Khamenei's foreign policy advisor, Dr. Velayati, and they came out of the meeting all smiles and handshakes. So one is left slightly wondering about what was the, context, the context of that conversation? How was he then alerted? We hear now from Western intelligence sources of this plot to assassinate him, and why did he end up in Saudi Arabia? The latter part is the easiest. The Hadiris have got very close links with Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabia's father, in fact, has business interests in Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia has remained a close supporter of the Hariri family, and by extension, the Sunni uh, groups in, in Lebanon. So that's a natural, if you like, um, backdrop for him to go to Saudi Arabia. Beyond that, the fact that he's now left Saudi Arabia and gone to Abu Dhabi to meet with, with uh, the crown prince there, and then talk is that he will go back to Lebanon, is all now pure speculation in terms of, well, what is going on with him? But clearly in Lebanon, the concern is to stabilize the government, to stabilize the security services, and make sure that there isn't panic um, in society. And that's exactly what, uh, what everyone wants to know. How will, how can the Lebanese government actually manage uh, this resignation? Will they even allow it to go through? For the moment, they're not. For the moment, they have said that they respect Hariri's uh, choice, but that, in fact, he has to be back in Lebanon uh, to formally go through the process of resignation. He's only a year into the job and he's part of a coalition, so there are many other interests, of course, in play here in Lebanon, um, and they will want him back uh, to discuss through all of these. He has the coalition there, he has the political grouping in Lebanon, all of whom will be bewildered by this action. But if there is a threat to his life, then you can't blame the man being cautious and making sure there are assurances in place in Lebanon before they can contemplate going back to Lebanon. But if this is part of a much bigger regional play, bringing Iran and Saudi Arabia, then that's a whole different ballgame that we're talking about. Okay. Anoush Etashami, thank you so much for joining us there live from Durham University.